So a lot of Webflowers use Webflow primarily as a designer and then export the code and host it somewhere else. Now, although this is a great methodology, it's pretty expensive to do. You're paying a, a workspace plan in order to just be able to export uh, your project. You're essentially paying for CMS, you're, you're paying for loads of projects. You're There's a lot that you're paying for just for that ability to, to export your code. Now, what if I was to tell you there is a way to export it without having to pay any sort of uh, plan, you can run it on the free plan, and you have access to the plethora of Webflow themes the Webflow as a platform is famous for. So one of my favorite new no-code tools, Web Studio, which I've released a few videos on recently, they've just released their copy and paste feature from Webflow into Web Studio. And the beauty about Web Studio is that you don't have any ongoing platform fees. You can publish your site on Vercel, and I have videos on all that, and I'll leave links to everything below. And this enables us to sort of bypass the workspace plan that Webflow force you down to get your website hosted on another platform. So I'm gonna run you through that now, show you how it's done, and hopefully you'll find a really good use case for it, and I hope it helps. Okay, so here we have my Flow State website, or at least a, a rough web flow build of it. Uh, but this could just as well be uh, a theme, something you've bought. It's worth checking the sort of licensing and terms and conditions because they may or may not change um, based on how you can use web flow themes. But for our instance, this is my website. I'm going to copy and paste into my web studio project. Now you can see that a lot of the heavy lifting is done. I can imagine I've got a few styles set on the body that can just replicate just as easy, but it's a real quick way of using a Webflow theme or using Webflow as your preferred designer and getting it into web studio um, and using their hosting. And I've got a video on how to do that using their CLI, how to host on your own platform and you've eventually got what you might think of the best of both worlds when it comes to using Webflow as a designer and hosting it somewhere else that you don't have to pay the platform fees. Now, uh, Web Studio have got some documentation and they've gone ahead and I'll leave the links down below um, where to go to this, but you can see what certain things map to, just so you can kind of get an idea of this sort of stuff. And you'll see that there's some crosses next to certain things. And obviously collection lists are based on database data that's in Webflow. So you're gonna need to figure out a way using Web Studio. And I have, I'll put a timestamp to a previous video I've done where I show you how to use the new CMS feature inside of Web Studio to, I guess, replicate this in Airtable or something like that. There's a, like a little bit of setup that might need to take place um, to get CMS working. But in my opinion, the, it, it's totally worth it, particularly if you're paying for this website because Webflow can get quite expensive. Uh, the time it takes to set up a, a separate CMS and all that lot, you probably earn that back in a month of savings of the Webflow uh, plans. Uh, videos uh, and they've got documentation here when well, I say documentation it's just giving you hints as to how you can rebuild the video component the YouTube component the various things like this so you can really get an idea of what is and isn't possible but once again this is just such a clean way a quick way of like I say using the best of both worlds you can see that styles are set as um, style tokens which is a, a, a web studio use tokens as their uh, sort of class definition methodology um, but of course and then of course interactions and animations do not transfer because web studio don't have that ability to which to be honest I as someone commented on one of my videos just most people are using GSAP anyway and the, the although the interactions panel is good and powerful you kind of get to a point where you need more and it's not particularly accessible. So, you know, if you can start to accept some of these uh, sort of cons as it were, it's a really good way to get things spin up, spun up very quickly and going back to my project here. I mean, look at that. Just a few little tweaks here and there. Uh, you've got some classes coming through here and various things that I need to upload the font. 
you can see how, how this can be very, very powerful. So there you go, I hope that was helpful. Remember, do check out the licensing and some of the themes if you do choose to use a theme. There might be limitations or something like that. I just can't speak to the sort of legalities of a lot of this stuff. And if you wanna learn more about Web Studio, there's links down below and YouTube will think you like this video. But if you don't, here's another one for that as well. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy no coding.